everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today, we are going to make mayonnaise, different type of mayonnaise. I'm going to show you how to make two types of mayonnaise, the classic mayonnaise and then the Provençal mayonnaise. I'm also going to show you how to make two variations that are typically Provençal. My name is Lionel and I cook traditional Provence dishes, all vegan. Provence is a southern region of France reputed for its fragrant food. For each video, I choose traditional Provence dishes that are adapt and modified to make them 100% plant-based. The classic mayonnaise. So to realize the classic mayonnaise, you will need the following ingredients. One cup of sunflower oil, a quarter cup of aquafaba. Aquafaba is a liquid contained in legumes can. I use for this recipe the aquafaba from a can from white beans. Simply drain the content of the can and collect the liquid. I also freeze the leftover for next usage. One teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. You can also use white vinegar. One tablespoon of vegan mustard. See my recipe by clicking on the top right corner of your screen. A quarter teaspoon of kalanamak salt. Kalanamak salt is also called Himalayan black salt. The sulfur compounds contained in the salt give kalanamak the odor of cooked eggs. You will also need the following utensils. A tablespoon, a set of measuring spoons, an immersive blender, and a recipient the size of the immersive blender itself. You also need glass jars with the lid of 250 ml, which is one cup. So start by pouring the sunflower oil into the recipient. Then add the aquafaba. One teaspoon of vinegar. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. and half a teaspoon of Kalanamak salt. Then, plunge the immersion blender to the bottom of the recipient and mix at high speed. You quickly see that the mayonnaise is forming. Then move the immersion blender up and down to mix all the oil and add some air to the emulsion. The mayonnaise is done in a few seconds when all the ingredients are well mixed and the whole is transformed into a creamy and homogeneous mass. It must be firm and glossy like a thick cream. Remove the excess of mayonnaise from the immersion blender head. Then transfer the mayonnaise into a jar. You can use the mayonnaise on the spot or put it on the fridge. It will keep there for up to two weeks with the lid on. The mayonnaise Provençale. So in Provence, we also do our own mayonnaise that is adapted from the ingredients available in the region and also adapted to the taste of people. The mayonnaise de Provence has distinct flavors with a bolder taste, coming from the olive oil first and second by the addition of umami flavors brought by the anchovies, vegan anchovies. You can find my vegan anchovies recipe by clicking on the top right corner of your screen. They are just spectacular. So to realize the mayonnaise Provençale, you will need the following ingredients. One cup of olive oil, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, you can also use white wine vinegar. A quarter cup 
of aquafaba, 20 grams of vegan anchovy fillets, two garlic cloves, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of kalanamak salt, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Start by pouring the olive oil into the recipient, then add the aquafaba, and two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, and half a teaspoon of kalanamak salt. Then add the vegan anchovies, two teaspoons of vinegar, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. The process is exactly the same as to make the classic mayonnaise. Plunge the immersion blender to the bottom of the recipient and mix at high speed. You quickly see the mayonnaise forming. Then move the immersion blender up and down to mix all the oil and add some air to the emulsion. You will see the mayonnaise is done in a few seconds. When all the ingredients are well mixed, be transformed into a creamy and homogeneous mass. The mayonnaise is firm and glossy like a thick cream. Remove the excess of mayonnaise for the immersion blender's head. Then transfer the mayonnaise into a jar. You can use the mayonnaise on the spot or put it on the fridge. It will keep there for up to two weeks with the lid on. The mayonnaise au pistou. To realize the mayonnaise au pistou, you will need to prepare a mayonnaise provençal. And you will also need to add the following ingredients. 60 fresh basil leaves, that's an equivalent of 35 grams. Transfer the Provençal mayonnaise into the recipient. Then add the basil leaves and mix at high speed until the leaves are completely blended with the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise is taking a beautiful green color. When all the basil leaves are blended, the mayonnaise au pistou is ready. Remove the excess of mayonnaise in the blender's head. Then transfer the mayonnaise into a jar. You can use the mayonnaise on the spot or put it on the fridge. It will keep there for up to two weeks with the lid on. The mayonnaise remoulade. To realize the mayonnaise remoulade, you will need to prepare a mayonnaise provençal. And you will also need to add the following ingredients. The process is exactly the same as to make the classic mayonnaise. Two middle-sized pickles, four stems of chives, that's approximately 20 grams, five branches of parsley without the stems, 15 grams, one tablespoon of capers, one teaspoon dry tarragon or two branches of fresh tarragon. Cut the roots of the chives and get rid of the green leaves. Only keep the white parts. Cut the chives in smaller bits. Cut the pickles in smaller pieces. Then pour all these ingredients into the recipient containing the mayonnaise provençal, the chives, the pickles, the capers and the parsley. Place 
plunge the immersion blender in order to mix the parsley and other added ingredients. Pulse the blender in short spurts. Don't overmix. Move the immersion blender up and down to mix all the ingredients. The mayonnaise is done when all the added ingredients turn to small bits. The mayonnaise is taking a light green color with darker spots. Then, transfer the mayonnaise into a jar. You can use the mayonnaise on the spot or put it on the fridge. It will keep there for up to two weeks with the lid on. So let's try those mayonnaise and see how they taste. So here I have some bread. It's like an old style way of making the baguette. You can see that the, the dough is not as white as the, the traditional baguette. So this is a classic mayonnaise and it has no flavor except that I used the Kalamata salt or also called the black salt that contains sulfur that gives that egg flavor. If you can't find that salt, you can use regular salt, but this one is really going to turn your classic mayonnaise into something that tastes exactly like mayonnaise made with egg yolk. So it gives the egg flavor to the, to the mayonnaise. Oh yeah, it, it just tastes like an egg yolk mayonnaise. Mm. This one is a winner. It tastes exactly like an egg yolk mayonnaise. There is absolutely no difference. If you give this mayonnaise to someone non-vegan, they will never find out that it's aquafaba. The second one is the Provençal mayonnaise. So it's a Provence version of the traditional mayonnaise that use olive oil instead of um, sunflower oil. The texture is wonderful. Mm. Wow. So this is something else. It has the mouthful of a mayonnaise but the combination of the olive oil, the anchovies, turning it into something very, very special. It's great to serve with raw vegetables like carrots, celery, as a dip. This is perfect. So the third one is Provençal mayonnaise au pistou. Pistou is a Provençal mix of olive oil, garlic and basil. So here we added the basil leaves and the garlic to the base of a Provençal mayonnaise and we blended it. And look at this texture. It's so firm. Mm, it smells incredible. Mm. This is flavorful, but in a different way. It's pistou. Pistou is an equivalent of pesto from Italy, except that the pistou doesn't have uh, pine nuts. So you have that garlicky basil flavor into a mayonnaise. It's also fabulous. So this is something that has a very strong flavor. So it has to accompany food that requires enhancement. It could be used in burgers. The last one is mayonnaise remoulade. So it's the one where we added, where we added gherkin, capers, chives, and parsley. There's also tarragon on this one. This is incredible because it tastes like none of the others. It's still the texture of the mayonnaise, but the flavors of the herbs we added gives it a very singular taste. So I can feel the tarragon, I can feel the chives, but all that, it's well balanced. That could be also a great sauce for hamburgers. It had the pickles give that sort of flavor that you have in the sauce that they use in burgers. It can be used also to season vegan seitan or vegan meat. That's something that I will use for that. So here you have four types of mayonnaise. You can choose the one you like. You can try all of them. You can switch every week, try a different one. 
it's really easy to make really you saw how i do it it takes like less than 30 seconds to make anyone can make it anyone can succeed in making mayonnaise i hope you like this video if you want to see more content like this you just know what to do subscribe like and click the bell button to be notified for the next videos normally i publish videos every week thank you so much guys for watching and see you next time bye